27 kids, one of them one years old. Don't you think you're like a menace to society? I mean, it's out of control. Hey, the Lord said be fruitful, you know? Hold on, hold on. We can't bring Jesus into this, all right? <laughs> all right? Tell me about the day that you met Tim at the gas station. Okay, so um, my husband at the time, who was my boyfriend, was telling me about this dude named Tim. And he was saying, oh, how much I looked like him, how we had similarities and mm -hmm. our eye color and everything. And I'm not even kidding. When I tell you, like, 10 minutes later, we go to this gas station, and this guy's like, hey, where's Hope at? So he goes out to the car, and he gets me. And I walk into the store, and this guy's like, hey, I think I might possibly be your father. I would like to do a DNA test. Were you surprised by that? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. I mean, you wouldn't. Well, you'd have been shocked. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. So in that moment, why did you think that he could possibly be your dad? I didn't. I mm -hmm. really didn't. Because my mom had told me, like, for years after, like, he asked for the DNA test that it was, like, completely impossible. Like, she never did nothing with him. So, you know, I believed her because she's my mom. But before I... Like, I submitted the request to come on here and everything. I texted him. I was like, before we even go on this show, I would want to know, like, why do you think you're my dad? Mm -hmm. Like, my mom said, you know, I just never did nothing. Like, it'd be kind of pointless to come on the show and you're not my dad, you yeah, know? Yeah, of course. Um, so he told me the story. And before that, my mom was telling me about the story, how she was hanging out with some friends. And she didn't know who the guy she was hanging out with. And she gave me the names and everything. Well, he tells me the exact same story with her friend. So I was like, oh, two and two is adding up now. She yeah. really did do something with this guy, and she's, you know, lying. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, a So little what bit. were you told about your father growing up? I thought it was his cousin my entire mm. life. Yeah. So you thought Tim's cousin was your father? Yeah, for a while, until I was 14, and then we did a DNA test, and he wasn't. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um... That's the first time I seen Tim. Uh, he was at the courthouse with his cousin. And uh, the DNA test with the cousin. Yeah. Can I ask you a question just to go back? What was your childhood life? What was life like growing up? It was rough. I lived from house to house. Mm. I didn't hardly ever live with my mom, um, mainly family members. I jumped from my mom's best friend to my aunt, to my great aunt, back to my mom's best friend, back to my great aunt. Mm. I lived with my grandma until I was five years old. Um, so, and you have siblings, right? Yes, I have four of them. And do you, they're all sisters? Yes. And do your sisters know who their father is? Yes. So, okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get, like, how can you have three, she has three different other baby daddies, but, um, how do you know their dads and not mine? Do you think that Tim might be your father now, that you heard that story and they line up? I'm hoping. I really do. Um, mm. I have a lot of... I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like deep down inside, maybe possibly he might be my dad, you know, yeah. just that feeling. Producers say he actually um, tried not to come here today. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Because the only reason that, that, that struck me is that because the fact that y'all are in a good space now, yeah. he came to you in the, this gas station, yet he didn't want to come here. Why was that? Um... It was a lot of drama with his situation at his house. Um, what does that mean, like a girlfriend? His, yeah, wife? his girlfriend at the time didn't want him to come at all. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you why. But um, after we got the DNA test done and he texted me saying, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I was like, no, you're not going to do that. Like, we're going we're gonna to do this. Yeah. So, um, Hold on, because I, I just have to step back because when I hear information about, when I hear information like that, I can only imagine the emotional toll it takes on you. Mm -hmm. What was that doing to you emotionally and mentally? It was, it was a lot. It really did hurt. Like, I, if I could explain it, it felt like my chest was probably just shattering into a million pieces. Because, you know, I want to, I want to know, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry. But... I wasn't going to let him back out. So I pulled up at his house. Yeah. Me and my husband, and we pulled up, and we told him, like, you're coming. You're coming with <laughs> yeah. us. You're not I love backing that. out. Yes. We're not doing that. Yeah. I'm, I'm proud of you for that strength. I'm proud of you for that strength. You know, Hope has spent the last two decades trying to find information about her father until three years ago when she met a man at a local gas station who told her he could be her father. 
Everyone, it's time to meet that man who was at that gas station. Please welcome Tim to the show. How you doing, Tim? Good, good. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So you asked Hope to take the DNA test, and then you didn't show up, almost didn't I show up today. I about let somebody talk me out of it. Okay, yeah, what happened? Uh, somebody being selfish, I'd say, and um, I should not have let anybody stand in my way like yeah. I did, or did almost did. Almost did, yeah. Yes. Good thing you got this strong lady right here. Yes. That was like, yes. yeah. She actually pulled up with my other two daughters. Yep, she did. done. Oh, you did? Other daughters. Oh, they pulled yes. up as a pot. They was like, uh uh, not today. Yep. That's yeah. hilarious. Uh, yep. So, why do you think, Hope says she thinks that you're afraid of knowing the truth. Is that true? No, no, and as for myself, as well as for her, I was willing to do it for mm -hmm. her, and, and I wanted to do it for the both of us, because for one, I didn't want a child growing up without me. But for two, she, she's got the right to know. Mm -hmm. um, What's making you emotional right now? The things she might have missed out on. Yeah. And I hate that for her. But it hurts me. So part of this is also a little bit of guilt. No, I wouldn't say guilt because um, her mom said that is because you were there when she was in the courtroom with your cousin. Yes. And you found out. Yes. You um, I, my cousin had asked me to go, and whenever the judge ordered him to take the DNA test and everything, uh, an aunt of hers had called out in front of the judge in the whole courtroom that she wanted me to take a paternity test. And... Uh, you know, and I was ready, I was willing, I would have done whatever it took or I needed to do, you know, for for the state or for a situation, whatever. Yeah. And but then um, you waited years. That's the only reason I brought up the guilt situation yeah, is yeah. because it's like well, your feeling of like she missed out there was, the things um, that she didn't have. There was a lot of guys in line in front of me. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, they had to go through yeah. and yeah. everything and yeah. And uh, is your mom? Do you have a good relationship with your mom now? No, I don't speak to her at all. No. Hope. What What were the big moments that were missed in your life um, of not having a dad? A lot of things, like learning how to drive, and like you know, small school. Changing yeah, mm -hmm. changing, changing the tire. <laughs> you know, school activities. Like I was in choir and I did color guard. You know, and none of my family ever showed up for any of that. So it was just oh, me. Oh. Just a lot, my whole life. You said there was a, uh, just to use your language, a long line of men before you. Yes. That, you know, when you were considering a dad. And you said you had two of them tested. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Has there, was there other guys that you knew of that were tested or talked to? Not that I've talked to. I know that there was, like you said, two other guys. They said that there was other, there was another two more DNA tests, but I don't know the name of those guys. Got it. Well, listen, Hope's husband, Devin, is here in the audience. I want to talk to him right now. Devin? So, Devin, thank you for being here today to support your wife. Um, why do you have concerns about Tim being Hope's father? Uh, I just see my wife cry a lot about missing out on that stuff, and I just, uh, yeah. I think Tim's a good guy. I just don't want to see her get hurt anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to see her miss out on that. I don't want to see her cry anymore. As a, it's been pretty emotional journey for her. Yeah. I haven't been here for the whole thing, but been here for enough of it. Uh, I just don't want to see my wife get hurt anymore. If he is her dad, I want him to be there. We have kids and stuff, and uh, I think it'd be a good deal. I think it'd be a, a great addition to our family. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, thank you, Devin, so much. Listen, everyone, Hope has waited 23 years to find her birth father. And for the last three years, she's wondered if Tim was the dad she's been waiting for. Before we reveal the outcome of the DNA, Tim, are you ready to finally know the truth? I am. You are? What really? would this truth mean to you if she is your daughter? 
I'd have another daughter, yeah. and I'd be a grandpa. Uh -huh. You're a very sweet man. You're a very sweet man. Hope, are you ready to have these answers? Yes, I'm beyond ready. Like, just to know I have siblings and my babies have more aunts, yeah. more family, yeah. a grandpa they can talk to, you know? Yeah. A blood grandpa. Yeah. Are you hoping he's your father? Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the DNA outcome. This has the answers of whether or not Tim is your father. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Here you go, if you can open it. And read out loud what it says. I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> oh yeah, take your time. I understand, this is a big moment. I know, but she's gonna get a big hug. <laughs> Either way. Okay, it says, um, hope Tim is not your father. I'm sorry. It's okay. It'll be all right. I'm sorry. Sorry. You've been set on this path that you had nothing to do with. It was your mother's choices. Um, I want to get your husband to come down here because your, your wife is hurting. Can you come down here with your wife? Tim, I'm going to thank you for being here. I'm going to let them two have a moment. I can talk yes. to them. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll see you backstage. You can thank, you. thank you. Thank you. When when I'm fifty. <laughs> I just don't understand why she has to make it so hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so stressful. It's kind of stupid that I gotta find her baby daddy. <laughs> yeah. No, it's very heartbreaking for you. And I, 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 one of my things for me is I hate when I see adults who have to still deal with the pain of their parents who didn't make the proper choices for them. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. And that's what you're dealing with. You constantly have to, like, you're fixing her mess from years ago. Yeah. But I'll tell you the beauty of this is that you do have at least someone who loves you, who's around you, who can, who's supporting you. So at least you're not alone in this. And I know it's not enough to fill that hole of not having your father, um, but at least you should know that you have this. Right. I should know them all. <laughs> yeah. Now, you share with a Facebook message you received yesterday with my producers. Yeah. Can you take a look at this? Yeah, if you want. So this is a man that hit you up and said, I know I should have reached out a long time ago, but my life has been a mess except the last year since I've been out and doing good, working, and getting my life in order. If you are all right with it, maybe we could talk on here some and to get to know each other, and maybe when I can get the money up, we can check and see if I'm your dad. So um, I'm a big believer in fate. I even got chills reading that, because I think as you're coming on this show, the fact that you would get that message when you're arriving here, and he's saying he doesn't have the money, I would love to support you and pay for him to come here to get you your DNA test and get you your answer. Would that help you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't want you to have to wait another three years like you did with Tim. How does that work? Does that work for us to give you the answers mm -hmm. and help? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah? These things become personal to me because I don't want to see you hurting. And I see the brave face you're putting on. I see the strength that you're trying to hold on. But I don't want you to have to live your life trying to be the strong woman. I want you to have to feel like you can actually get the answers you need. Because I know you have the strength in there. And I know you've been putting on a brave face and being strong your entire life. And it's getting exhausting, right? I know it is. I know it is. And I'm sorry. So I want to be here for you and help you to not feel exhausted anymore. Are you willing? Yes. All right, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Give me a hug. Jay has been searching for his biological father and his father's family since he was in high school. I want you all to take a look at Jay's story right now. When I was seven years old, my mom showed me a picture of my dad. I didn't start searching for him until high school. I started having like a bad relationship with my family. I was homeless for a period of time. After a while, finding my dad and his family became really important to me. When I reached out, I was first met with rejection. 
I was blocked off Facebook. I tried numerous times to reach out to other family members. And over time, I was hoping someone would just respond to me. I finally met Nikki and Nita at TJFs a year ago. I really felt like they was a part of me and we had like a connection. And I'm hoping and praying that it's proven that we are related today so that my search for my family will finally come to an end. All right, everyone. So first, we're going to meet Jay's alleged sister. Please welcome Nita to the show. Hey, Nita. How are you doing? Hi. Um, so I want to know, when were you initially contacted by Jay? Um, it probably was like um, about a year or so ago. It was on Facebook. So mm -hmm. he ended up messaging me, and he was like, hi, um, I'm your brother. Um, I'm like, brother? Like, <laughs> yeah. no, you can't be my brother. I'm like, I'm too old to be found out about a brother. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, um, I just ignored it. I was like, I don't know who he is. So, you know, at this point, I'm like, I just knocked it off at, yeah. at that point. Um, so then probably like months later, he ended up contacting my mom on Facebook. And so my mom was like, um, a boy named Jay is like, he's your brother. So she told him, can you please send me a picture of you? I want to see who you are. Mm. So he ended up sending her a picture and she was like, oh, yeah. Like, he favors him a lot. <laughs> so I'm like, well, tell him to call me. What did your gut tell you when you finally first talked to him? Um, it was just like, who are you? Like, where did mm. you come from? You know, yeah. um, his mother, um, was telling him about us, that he had sisters, so if you really want to know who we are, we want to meet you. We end up meeting, and we sat down, we talked to him, and we just, he was just telling us a story, how he was raised, and, you know, all the things that he'd been through, and my sister was just whatever about the whole thing, so I was like, well, let's get to know who he really is yeah, at course. this give point. Him a yeah, let's give him a chance, and that's what it was. So I want, I want to know, why did you feel like, because my producer said you felt bad for Jay. Why did you feel bad for him? Because he, the way how he told us how he was treated, he didn't have the holidays or, you know, he didn't have that person in his life, you know, to be there for him or whatever he was going through. And I was like, well, he didn't grow up how we grew up. You know, we always had everything. So we just can't bring it on him because he didn't have it, you know, so let's really get a chance because he might be our brother so we can give it to him, you yeah. know. Yeah, good. It's a good perspective. I want to know, how do you feel about being here today and getting these DNA results? Nervous. Because uh -huh. <laughs> it's, been so, it's been too many years. Like, we don't know, you know. Um, I'm 30-some years old. You know, 25 years later, we finding out that he's our brother. You know, I, I feel really bad because I really want him to be my brother. But your sister doesn't feel this way. No, she don't. What is she, what is she saying? She like, how do we know? Like... She's a daddy's girl, uh -huh. you know, so she, everything that he's saying, she was like, well, when time comes, we'll find out, but to the end, we're not going to be doing this for him, you know, oh. so, yeah. She got the guard up immediately. Yeah, definitely. Makes sense. And how do you feel about the fact that your sister is sort of, like, apprehensive? Um, I'm kind of mad at her about it because, you know, you just can't just based off that he's not our brother because we don't know. You know, it's been mm -hmm. so many years to the point where let's just give him that chance. Yeah. I mean, but look at that. We have one sister that's saying, like, I'm open to this. I hope it could be. And you got another sister that's saying, I don't want anything to do with this. You are not my brother, potentially. And if you are, I don't want anything to have with this right now. I think it's time for us to meet your sister, Miki, to get her side of the story. So let's everyone welcome Miki to the show. Hi. How are you doing, Miki? Hi, how you doing? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Both y'all are so fly. Okay, <laughs> right? You all see? They look great. So I want to know, we heard it, the difference already between you and your sister. Your sister's like, she's open to this, and you're very much like, uh, I'm not about this. Talk to me about your feelings. Um, first, I want to say this is a scam. Mm. <laughs> we met him at, um, first of all, I told him, listen, he reached out to us on Facebook. So I'm like, um, we don't know who this person is. We need to meet him in a public place. We're not going to go to his house. He's not coming to ours. He don't need to know our address. Yeah. So we got there, and then he started breaking down his life story, and pretty much he needed money. Oh. So, so from your perspective, you think that it was the fact that he had a hard life that he needs money? Yeah. Is and that why you're so skeptical about this? I'm just skeptical because it's been, I'm 38 years old. I never heard anything. Like, we don't know anything about this. Never heard of it. Well, there's one person that's in all of this that we need to hear their side of this story, and that is Jay. So, everyone, please welcome Jay to the show. Yeah. 
Hey, Jay. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. All right, so, Jay, you've been trying to find your family constantly throughout the years. Tell me what this journey has been like for you. Um, the journey has been very, very crazy. Like, it all started when I was, like, just a kid. I would just ask my mom for pictures of my dad, and after a while, she would get annoyed, and, like, she finally gave me, like, this one stash picture of him, and I kept it all the way up until um, I felt concerned enough to reach out, and that was when I was 18. I was always protective of my siblings. I have three other siblings, and uh, during Are high school... the oldest out of your siblings on your mom's side? Uh, second oldest. Second oldest. Second okay. oldest, yeah. Okay. And it was very emotional for me because they always had their fathers around, and me, I was just like the odd one out. My mom would tell me that I had two other sisters by him, so I never knew what they looked like. I only had the picture of my father, and that was it. Mm. And I graduated from high school. She didn't show up to my graduation, and my family members did. They believed in me, and, but the, it was still one other person that I wanted to be there. Mm -hmm. and Which was your father, yes. potential father. That you've been, I can, I, I, I'm just thinking about that. You're holding onto a photo that you got as a little boy of this man that you're hoping to be your dad. I hope he is, and that's why I'm here to find out. And I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. Yeah, no worries, no worries. <laughs> my producers told me that. My producers told me that your father blocked you. That's true. It was. Uh, it took a lot of courage to just message him. And uh, I was on there. I looked. At, I made sure, like, I had the picture in my hand, typing, and. I was like, okay, I saw him, I saw them too. I was like, so this is, this is it. And I was like, should I do it? And I built up the courage to text him. And I let it be for a little bit, I waited 24 hours. I came back the next day and his page was gone. Mm. What did the message say that you said to him? I reached out, I said, hey, my name is Jers. Um, my mom's name is this. And I'm going through this situation right now and I just, want you to be here and to no reply. That's it. Did you all know that your, your father blocked him? Um, not at that point we didn't till we actually got a chance to meet him. How do y'all feel about the fact that your father blocked him? Do you think that was the right response? And there's no judgment in this statement. I'm just wondering, like, for you. <laughs> I, mean, I see your face already. you like. <laughs> <laughs> 25 years. I mean, if someone come Facebook you saying, I'm your son, I mean, I would. You block him too. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Who are my, you? my thing was, I don't understand why with his wait so late to even tell him who his father was, or for him to wait so long to even mention at 18. Like, that's my thing. Like, we should have known this a long time ago. Yeah. You know. It's not about any currency or anything like that. It was just about having a bond. That's all I wanted, just growing up. You said your siblings had their own father, and so you didn't feel connected there, even though you had a relationship. But and that your mother is not my dad's fault. Honestly, I, I believe it is. Like, but he, I, 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 he has to answer it. He has to answer it. But I don't, at this point, too, I really don't think it's his fault. I just feel like, you know, we don't know how it was told to him, you know, if he had a child. Did your mother say that she ever told your potential father that she was pregnant? Twice. Yes, and that's the thing. That's why I say he has to answer. Got it. I yeah. understand. Um, well, how do you feel when um, these two beautiful women responded? It was, it was, uh, it lifted my energy a little bit. I just want to have a potential bond with them, and that's all I'm here for, mm -hmm. no matter how they feel. Well, yeah. <laughs> what, what was your experience meeting them? Because I heard their point of view. Uh -huh. Well, for me, it yeah. was like, it was kind of awkward, because they were just staring at me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh. I believe that I have some of the characteristics and I, I believe they picked up on it. I want to take a moment for this because I understand that everyone's just meeting him for the first time. Y'all only know him for a year. But we did a lot of digging in your background and we heard about how you've worked very hard to pull yourself up. You've worked very hard. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Growing up in high school, I was like a hothead, you know, but I switched my ways. I became a coach online. I'm like a personal trainer. I'm in school for real estate. I'm working a job. I'm doing my best to be something. I want to be a product he can be proud of, mm. something they can be proud of, yeah. you know? F like my potential other family members on their side, they can be proud of. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build a legacy. Well, I, yeah. 
I want to let you know this because having being abandoned, because basically that's the feeling you're having, is abandonment. It's being feeling alone. And for the fact for you to recognize that the anger was not the right path and for you to try and do all of this, whether this is your father or not, I need you to know that we are proud of you and that you should always be proud of yourself. Yeah. Because for you to make these choices shows the man you are. Are you ready for this DNA outcome? I'm ready. 25 years, right here. If you don't mind opening it and reading the results out loud. I feel like this is like the, the next chapter right here in my hand. Yeah. Okay. Damn. nothing to do, he had nothing to do, hear me out, he had nothing to do with the decision your father made. You hear me? You hear what I'm saying? Sit down. I want, I want you to really hear this right now, because I can see your hesitation. First of all, I'm very happy for you that you have found answers and clarity, because you deserve that. And all the work you did for yourself has led you up to this moment where not only can your family be proud, but you can be proud of yourself. But I know you're grieving right now. I can see it. You're grieving. But you got to remember, the decisions that adults made just have nothing to do with y'all. You are just right now dealing with the outcome of it. But let me tell you something. Who your father is to you in your mind, you don't have to grieve that. He's still the same man. He's still the same father that you can be his daddy's girl. You can still love him. You can still support him. You just now have someone else who can be there for you and can love you. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> What's on your mind now? You got two sisters. <laughs> Just confirm, you got two sisters. I got two older they, sisters. They, I will tell you, as, as, as the youngest of four sisters, it's dope to have older sisters, all right? Yeah, and they fly. Definitely. They fly. Definitely. So I didn't know they gonna like, be able to guide you, show you some ways. You understand? Yeah. yeah. How does this feel to you right now? It's oh, that, you got answers. 25 years, there's no more questions. It's the ultimate clarity, you know? Yeah. Like, it, it all paid off keeping myself sane, yeah. you know, like, I almost died a couple years ago to pneumonia, and I wasn't gonna get the answers, and I was just praying to, like, just get me through this, to just, just this, this puzzle piece is all I wanted. Yeah. Now, there is a key person who blocked you, and that's your father, and you have to understand that you're gonna have to give him a fresh start from here. You're gonna have to be like, you know what? If you can say to him, I'm your son, unblock me, you got to be open to him, to him going through his process as well. Every one of you is about to be on a journey. And so anytime you start feeling anger, you start feeling like upset, you start feeling like maybe I want to be distant, maybe they don't like me, maybe they do like me. Remember, everyone is on their journey and you have to be patient with each other. Does that make sense? Yes. Makes total sense. Yeah. So just be there. And y'all support him because I already can tell, if, I, if your daddy anything like you, <laughs> girl, you sweet, you sweet flop. But you summer, and I like it, I like it, I like it. That's strength, I love it, okay? And so, but I'm just saying, support him, because he's going to need his big sisters right now as he figures this next chapter out. And thank you so much. Oh, y'all welcome. I like you, Maddie. A lot of people reach out to me with the hope that I will uncover a truth that could lead to relief or closure, but sometimes it leads to heartache. One way or another, when things come to light, it's a moment of growth, because when we are armed with the truth, remember, friends, we can never be lost in the dark. Kara's mother was only 15 years old when she found out that she was pregnant with her. She was terrified of having a baby so young, but she did her best to raise Kiara on her own. Kiara appreciates her mother's dedication to her, but has always struggled with the man she believes is her father. He has been denying her off and on for her entire life. Recently, he broke her heart for the final time when he told her, go find your real father. She came to me to ask for help to get a DNA test to reveal whether 
or not, Rashad is in fact her biological father. How's it been for you knowing that Rashad has been denying you? It's, it's really been hard. I don't express my feelings a lot. Yeah. I try to keep it down, but everything that's been happening lately, he's been kept going on and on about the situation. I didn't care at first, but then like the last thing that he said, it really broke me a lot. When do you remember Rashad first denying you? I was around 11, 12. Yeah. But um, my mom said it was even younger than that, but I don't have no memory of all of that happening. So I know that my producer said he sent you a nasty text recently. Yeah. What was that text? It was basically him saying that he's not my father and it's out of two other people. Here, love. I mean, I know this is hurting you. Is it the text? You're not a daughter, never been, actually needed a blood test. Don't think you're mine anyway. Go find your real dad. I want to know from you, do you want a relationship with him? Do you want him to be your father? I do. I really do. Yeah. And why? Because I see how a lot of people get treated by him. He's a good man. He is. But, like, it's just, I think it's just with me, to be honest. He shows emotion with different people more than he shows emotion with me. Yeah. You took a DNA test. Do you think he's your father? I do. And now it's time to hear from her mother, Kiana, to get her side of the story. Do you have any doubt that Rashad is her father? I do not have no doubt. Uh -huh. I was 15 years old. Like, okay, I was pregnant at 15, but I don't have no doubts whatsoever. So when did he start denying her? He started denying her, I could say, around like seven years old. But she like basically, they did another DNA around like 11 years old. So that's when everything should start going left. So I'm confused. So at 11 years old, he did a DNA test. Yes. Then why are we still here questioning this? Because he did not go through with it. Okay. That's so, my issue. He did not go through with it because I feel like he know she his. Got it. Every other two years, he like, oh, it's not my baby. Then another two years, it's my baby. Then another two years, it is my baby. It's getting confusing. God. It's getting frustrating. Yeah. Okay, so have you ever said to him there could be another man that's possibly the father? Um, when we was very, very young, I'm not going to lie, I did say that. Because I was in over some mad situation because he had a girlfriend and... Got but it. I know for sure that that's, that's not true, and she, he, he's their father. So you were young, you made a comment, and then he latched onto it. Yeah. Did you make that comment around the time when she was six, seven? No, when this I only said it one time. Okay. I only said it one time when I was young. I was like 17 years old when I said it. And since then, I've been just like saying, you her father. I know for a fact you her father. My producers told me that one of his complaints is that you were with other men. Were you with other men? Not when, you when I him? was pregnant. No, I wasn't. But if I'm not with you and you're not my boyfriend or anything like that, I'm going to be with other men. <laughs> I'm not going to stay single because you want me to have just, just, just be with you. Yeah. No. I'm 15. It happened. I had her. And it is what it is. I'm not going to stay single because you want me to. How far along were you when you found out? I was four pregnant? months pregnant. I didn't even know I was pregnant. Yeah. I was four months baby having a baby, so I did not know. My and how long were y'all together at that point? We wasn't even together. And right now, I want to bring out the alleged father, Rashad, to hear his side of the story. Rashad, come on out. You sent a text to your daughter. Yep. Yes. Do you think Let's that text? Do you think that text is a loving text? It wasn't appropriate at all. But this is why. Then why did you send it? Because she, my daughter, was texting me back and forth, um, talking about how I'm a deadbeat. Um, I'm no good. I'm not there, which is totally not true. She be with a bunch of cousins and friends who dads are in jail, who dads are dead, and she's filling them. And, and it rubbed off on her because at the same time, like, like I'm always was there. I, but do you think it reinforces her feelings when you say things like this? No. Because if, if you're feeling pain by your daughter saying something to you, I'm a parent. Children say things out of their mouth all the time. But it's our job it as parents to step above and rise above that. Listen, right. And it wasn't appropriate. No. 
And I get that. I wanted to hurt my daughter's feelings. You know why? Because she hurt my feelings. She told me. I get it. Hold on, hold on. Here How you got go. your daughter telling you to? But I want, I want, so, I want, I want to take a so second. So she hurt my feelings, and I end up texting her back that stuff like, you know what? Go find your real dad. I did say that because you know what? At the end of the day, I'm not gonna sit here and tolerate that. I'm gonna love you from a distance, and I bet she ain't show them text messages. I'm gonna love you from a distance. You wanna be disrespectful and disobedient? I love you from a distance. Before yes, that, before I he hurt her said feelings that. because she told me to. Okay, before. So I he told her to find a real dad. Anyways, Stop it. Anyways, before. Excuse Before my language. he sent that text message, me and him was on the phone for like a whole hour. Say we wasn't. We were. Okay. And I told I my girl that. You, and I told and my I girl that. I asked you. Yes. I asked you not to say nothing to Kiara. Didn't I tell you that? I told you I was going to talk to her. You don't tell her. me what to do. Okay. But you be disrespectful Rashad, Rashad, to my daughter. Rashad, I want to know this. What will you do if she's not your daughter? I'm going to be there for No, you're not. Move around. This is, even if I want to be there, move around now. You get me? This is what I've been going through I'm since she was a kid. This. You're not the father. I get I'm that. tired. You're not the father. All right, listen, everyone. Angel was having sex with the baby. Stop All right, it. everyone. Listen, when we come back, we'll find out whether or not Rashad. And you was having sex with me too, huh? You Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. You was having sex with me too, and I told your girlfriend. Listen, listen, listen. Stop playing with listen, me. She knows listen, a lot. Listen, we have to stop this. I'm old, dude. You be messing with? Go get checked, man. He's so. But hold on, but you're participating as well. That's what we're gonna do. Go get checked. Yep, you go get yeah. checked. Y'all know y'all daughter's backstage watching this, right? Yes. <laughs> you showed up because you were willing to do the work to figure out if it's your daughter so that maybe you could start to heal. And you're letting this relationship you have with somebody you met when you were 15 affect another generation. I can already hear from your story that you had trauma and pain. You were 15, went into jail, or in jail when you were 16 or 17, whatever the timeline is, and then you stayed in jail, which means that there was I some didn't issues. I stay in jail. I, I got, I got I'm, better. I, I became, I, yeah, I'm, like, not, I'm, like, not, I'm, not, I'm not dogging you right now. What I'm, what, what I'm saying right now is that you had a history of not having people there for you, not having support. That's the only reason a young man ends up in those situations. Well, I you ended up in those situations because I grew up without a father. You just repeated what I said. I said, you were 16 years old with no support. I heard it. How'd you know that? Because I can see the way you acted. I'm trained in this. But this is what gets me, is that this is why this is not entertaining to me. It's because at the, at the end of the day, the same hurt you received, the same hurt she received, all y'all doing is putting this on a little girl who doesn't deserve this. All I was I trying to do to you is when you were 17. All I wanted, all, listen, listen, all I wanted to do is be there for all my kids. And I'm there for every single last one of my kids and take care of every single last one of my kids. Me and my daughter being inconsistent, it's only because of the, the family member that they grew up in the household with and Kiana. Me, them arguments has caused me this to pause because she kept this, my daughter away from me. Say to you, Plenty of times, hear Karamo. Hear, listen, listen, because I understand what you're saying, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what relationship you have with her. You're making the choice to engage. You're making the choice to be disrespectful. You're making the choice when you're hurt to disrespect your, your potential daughter. You're making those choices. And every time you get upset, every time you get heated, every time you feel like you're being challenged, that comes from that pain that you had as a little boy, you then lash out. And I think one of the things that I want to talk to you about later after we get to this is helping you to understand that you're better than lashing out. You're better than that. You said you don't want to be your father, then you have to start acting in different ways. What I do know better. is that what... And that's the truth. Which, which is I true. I think you're better than that. All right, welcome back, everyone. Before we get to the DNA results, I want to bring Kiara and her mom, Kiana, back out. Welcome them back to the stage. So sorry for walking off. I had to. I got it. Why did you feel like you need to walk off? Because I, I know myself with him. He's very, very rude, very ignorant, disrespectful, and I don't got time for that. Both of y'all were kids that yeah. had to grow up fast. Exactly. And unfortunately, y'all didn't get all the life skills and tools you need. And y'all have been in defense mode. Y'all have been in modes where y'all are trying to do your best, but making the bad decisions. At the end of the day, your daughter wants to know if you're the father. You mm -hmm. said, go find your real father. It's my daughter was, regardless. Here, here, here goes the results. You 
you scared, huh? No, take a not seat, at all. Take a seat. Take a not seat. Not at all. No, I'm not. And when hey! Woo! Can I have that? She mine? Yeah, she mine? Yeah. Can I have an apology, please? Not to you. Why? But I will apologize to you. I'm so, so sorry if I brung you any type of pain before today about even mentioning stuff like this in the text messages and stuff like this. I swear to God, like, I'm so sorry, daughter. Like, I always knew you was mine anyway. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. That's what I want. This is exactly what I want right here. I'm sorry. Can I have this, please? Sorry. <laughs> and I love you so much. And I don't want you to think that I don't. I swear to God, I love you so much. I'm sorry about lashing out times. I will get better. I promise. I promise. <laughs> so, you all need this healing. I love you. I love you too. This is what I'm going to offer to you as a family. If you both truly want to stop the chaotic co-parenting, I'm going to offer both of you anger management mm -hmm. so that you can learn the skills to be able to communicate better when you're with each other so that way you stop shooting bullets at your daughter that's going to hurt her for the rest of her life. I apologize to you too. So I'm going to ask y'all. Not no hug, but can I get a handshake? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask y'all right now. <laughs> Hold on, right now. One second, one second. I'm going to ask y'all right now, because I need this commitment. Can y'all two commit from your daughter to stop this chaotic co-parenting for her? I will commit. Yes. Can you say to your daughter? I will, co I will commit and, and do the best I can and to, to make you happy and to not, to not lash out with anger and to also respect your mom, because I know that by not respecting her too and you you feel her emotionally so if i'm saying all this hurtful stuff you're gonna you're gonna vibe with mommy because that's exactly where you're staying at and i apologize for that too because i shouldn't have to be talk saying names and calling mom this and that and that's that's wrong I'm sorry. and i will get way better with how i talk to you and if if something's a real situation, I will rather just hold your hand and let's sit down and talk about it rather than accusing you of anything. Great. Thank because you. I never sat you down. Thank you. I never sat her down yeah. from that situation she brung up. I yeah. just lashed out. Yeah. And that Good. was wrong of me. So now, can you two commit to going to that anger management? I'll go. I'll go. You go? I'll go. Y'all gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. You're especially going to be all right because what I'm going to teach your parents is to put you first. Right. Because right now they've been putting their emotions first and you need to come first. Right. And as you grow up, never allow anybody to put you second. You come first. And don't lash out, okay? When they learn anger management and they start learning these skills, ask them, say, can y'all teach me these skills too? Right. All right? <laughs> Seriously. Because I already know you, you picked up these skills and you're about to be 18 and I don't want you to start doing this in your own life as well. Break the pattern now, okay? You have a lot of strength and vulnerability in you. You can break it, all right? But I'm glad you committed to getting help. My next guest, Michael, is the father of 27 children. Y'all heard me, 27 children. Can you believe that? Well, listen, Michael started to question whether or not his oldest daughter, Janessa, was really one of his tribe when she posted a picture with another man on social media and said he was her father. Michael says he and his family were very close to Janessa until she posted that picture and he wants my help to get a DNA test to solve the mystery of Janessa's paternity. But before we do that, let's take a look at a video from her. So when I was 16, my mom told me that Michael wasn't my real father. I was around his family my whole life. They basically raised me. My mom told me the man's name who was supposed to have been the real father, and I looked, started looking more into it. When I got in contact with him, I actually took a picture with him, posted on social media. Michael's family, they disowned me, they abandoned me. They just seen a picture, and they don't want to deal with me anymore. They've been around my whole life, you know? It hurts. It's, it hurts a lot. It made me emotional, kind of depressed and stressed. 
and I was doing things out of hurt and anger, and I lost my children. Honestly, I was doing drugs. Like, I was just trying to take away the pain. I need Karamo's help. Um, I need this DNA test so that I can know the truth. All right, everyone, please welcome Michael to the show. How you doing, Michael? Hey, how you doing? Good to meet you. You too. Okay, so Michael, I have to start off by knowing. Please take a seat. Why do you want a DNA test for your oldest daughter? Ooh, she's a great actor. I see that. Ooh, characteristic. You, this, you're um, saying this about your daughter? Yes. Okay. The reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, you hear things in the streets, right? So it get back to me, and I'm like, mm, I ain't tripping on it. I didn't elaborate on it at that moment. Okay, so Janessa had sent me a friend request on Facebook. So I, um, you know, I accept it. Okay, the first thing I see is a picture, right? And it's a picture with Janessa, some cat, and some other female. When I saw that picture, that blew my mind. She said it was her, her dad, and her sister. I'm like, I'm your dad. You know what I'm saying? So who am I, you know? Mm -hmm. So that kind of, hey, it hit a nerve, though. Yeah. So why don't you communicate with Janessa anymore? I ain't going to say that I, I just kind of feel back. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because of That's what a G I saw. way of saying I stopped communicating yeah. with you. That poor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. But why would you stop communicating with her? I mean, when I saw that picture, then she said, This is her father. You know what I'm saying? If I've been there all this time, you know what I'm saying? So what else I supposed to do? Your feelings were hurt. Oh, yeah, I was hit. Yeah, I got it. I, I understand that. Did you ever have a good relationship with Janessa from your I point had of view? A wonderful relationship with Janessa. So you did have a good relationship when she was oh, younger. Yeah, yeah, you can see, you know, that's her right there. We're holding her child. Yeah. And that's her, you know. So how many daughters do you have? Uh, 17 daughters and 10 sons, mm -hmm. and I have 12 grandchildren. 12 grandchildren. From the age of 29 to one years old. Wow, you so, got a one-year-old. Yeah, I have a one-year-old. Oh, yeah, I can still make them. Would you say you have a relationship with majority of them, or not all? Like, what's not the, all, how, no. many, how many do you have a relationship with? I'm going to say, like, eight. You have a relationship with eight yeah, of them? Yeah, like eight. Out yeah. of the 20? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. And you think that's all because of the mothers? It's the mothers. Do you talk to all of their mothers? No, because they, they got, you know, they, they weird. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? They play the games, you know? And I ain't with that. I cut them off. Do you think that you have something to do with that as well? Hey, it ain't my fault, man. At all? It ain't my fault. It ain't my so fault. So why do, why do you blame the moms? I mean, because they they play games, you know what I'm saying, and they ain't trying to deal with me. So do you want to be Janessa's dad at this point? Of course. Uh -huh. Of course I want to be her father, because I've been here this long, like I said, since she's been born. You know, so why stop, you know? Well, so if you if you want to be her dad, then why cut her off? Why stop communicating over I, one you photo? You know what? I can't even really speak on that, because, like I said, it bothered me. It hit a nerve. Yeah. How long... Have you not been in Janessa's life recently? Because you said you stopped communicating. So. It ain't been like, it ain't no gap in it. It's probably like a couple years. Oh, just, that's, you know, so yeah. in my mind, I'm assuming that you and Janessa haven't spoken in like six months or so. So how long? It's been like three years, four years? I say about a year and a half. This has been about a year and a Seriously. half that you two haven't talked. Right. Okay. Janessa has told our producers that it's been four years since you all have talked. Oh, uh, no, it ain't been no four years. I'm going to say, like, 2018, 19, somewhere around there. Yeah. That's, about, that's about four years. Yeah, that's about four years. Okay, that's about four okay, years. Okay. That's about four years. But I'm saying, though, it ain't been, like, like no gap, like, no 10 years. Yeah. Nothing like that. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I, I think there's a big piece of this puzzle that we need to start talking to right now because I'm hearing your perspective and I'm hearing what you're saying. But I think it's important for us to get to this DNA outcome. We still need to hear one important side of the story, which is Janessa. So I want to welcome your daughter, or potential daughter, Janessa, to the show. Janessa, come on up. How often was your father there? Barely. Every once in a blue moon. Yeah. I was with his family the whole time. I barely seen him. Okay. He'll buy me stuff like that, but it's time that you're supposed to spend with your kids. You didn't spend no time Ooh, with me. And it's the truth. Janessa. Janessa.
Keep it all the way to You keep it all the way to thousand. You're I'm sitting up here lying. Solid. No, you you're was lying. never there, and your people cut User, me off because of character. a man. Get out of Come here. On. How did it make you feel when you saw that they cut you off? Because they it you just hurt said because that they, they, were they know there. that they've been my only family. They've been the only people that's been around my whole life. So it was just like just to just stop talking to me completely. Like that hurt. You know what I'm saying? And nobody you could have conversated with me, said talk to me about it. They just don't. So it's been four years since that photo was posted. It's been it's been it's been a few years. It ain't been no four it has, years. You no, know, it ain't been four. It's been like when, three years. Why did you send me that friend request? Is was it something that you wanted? Probably to Probably just because I seen you on my suggested friends. And why would I just want to come on? You come thought on, I was being no, funny, I think, and I was yeah, not. Yeah, I really think so. No, I was not. Like, so being funny. Vanessa, when did you find out that you he may not be your father? My mom told me when I was like, had it been like when I was 16, but I really didn't be, believe it or pay it no mind until I started trying to reach out and contact this other man. And you know, his other daughters, I look just like her, so it like made me question it. And then why did you post the photo? Because I caught myself trying to have a relationship with him and you know. No, I think that was meant for me to see. It was not. That it was, was meant for me to I see. I was not being funny. I was not being funny All at of all. a sudden, I get a friend request and, and, and this cat pop I was up. not being funny yeah. towards you though. It wasn't, like, it had nothing to do with it. it. Mm -hmm. And it bothered just happened, me as well. I just happened to send a friend request. It bothered the me as well. But you so, didn't say I, anything to me about it when you could have spoke about it. I, you know You could have said something. Janessa, I want to ask you a question. I How did. do you feel about um, Michael having 27 kids? I mean, to each his own. But, like, if you can't, <laughs> no, seriously, but if you can't even, you don't even talk to, like, all of them as is, so why keep having more and more kids is what I don't understand. <laughs> you just keep having more kids. <laughs> I like that. Why do, why, why do you have keep having more kids? And that's a sincere question. You just said you have one that's a one years old, yeah, but you only have a relationship old. that you only have a relationship with eight out of twenty-seven. I mean, that's not my fault though. Like I said, the mothers, hey, these whores, oh. is what I'm gonna call them. So what are hey, you? They put themselves in that situation. What are you though? No, so that's, that's a, yes. What you mean? What if, am I? If it's okay no, for no, no, a man seriously, to call seriously, a woman, you, a whore. no, 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 no I want to ask that that's because you're calling these women who are not here to defend themselves whores. You don't think I that you're a whore? I ain't gonna say no names. Right. But hey, I know. Hey, but hey, do you, I took part of that too. But they don't have as many kids as you. I took part of that too. Okay, so you're a whore too. I'm gonna stand on that too. You're a whore too. I'm a whore too then. All right, so listen, I think it's time to get into comments from my audience because I want to know what my audience feels about that. Okay, come on. Bring it on. I can see you here and talk some more. What is your point of view on this? I mean, bro, 27 kids, one of them's one years old. You're out of control. Don't you think you're like a menace to society? I mean, it's out of control. It's out of no, control. No, I don't think I'm no menace to society. No, it's not at all. Not at all. Hey, the Lord said be fruitful, you know? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We can't bring Jesus into this, all right? <laughs> all right? <laughs> But the honest question is, is that we see the pain that's going on right here of this woman saying to you, I feel like you weren't there. I feel abandoned. I feel, didn't feel loved. And the fact of the matter is that he is making a valid point that he says you have 26 other kids out there. Do you feel like there's, your re behavior is reckless? No, because I ain't did nothing wrong. If I did something wrong, then I'm going to I'm admit to it. I got to stand on that. So I got a question for you. My question is... Like, do you actually have a job to support these 27 kids you keep having? Oh, right? yeah, I like that. Hey, I got my own business. What kind of business? I got an online website. And you support 27 kids with hey, your online website? Hey, I support mine. Just understand Eight or that. 27, that's my I question. Hey, I support mine. You must win paying attention. What are your thoughts? Do you think having 27 kids makes you a man? Oh, uh, yeah. Can, yeah. can you remember it all their names? Me, wow. Yeah, I'm a man that, of mine. That, that's a valid question, actually. Do you know, can you remember all of your children's names? Because oh, I, mean, I, 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 this is the question you asked, because oh, I have two sons, some... and I promise you, sometimes they wake okay. up in the morning, and I call one the other name. And that's hey. the two. And maybe it's because I'm getting older, and I'm like, Jason, I mean, Chris, Right, right, come, right. Come you know, you get confused when it's time for the birthdays and all that, you know? So, yeah, I, get a little, of them. I get a little twisted at times. Are you ready for this DNA outcome? Yes. All right. Here's the envelope. I got it. If you could, yeah, it's for you. Okay. If you could open it oh, and read the results out loud for us. Okay. So she good to do it. Okay. <sighs> Lord says you are not the father. Uh, and I kind of knew it. So cuz the father, cuz you had in the picture, post it up. Yeah. You think so? 
I'm pretty sure. What's making you so much right now? Because, yeah, like, because now I feel like uh, now they really is just going to look at me like I'm not family anymore. I'm, I'm just seeing you just like, you know. Here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Because you got to grieve a lot. You have, you have a lot to grieve. It hurts. Know, it just walks away. It don't make it no better. I know. That's what I was asking for, and that's what I was worried about. Because if he walks away, he's already disconnected once when he just saw a photo. And that just shows me, like, how he really feel, I feel like. So I'm just... That no matter what his experience is and however he treats you, I know it hurts. There are people that want to love you and show you the love that you deserve. I know. You're not alone in this world. Thank you. See, not alone. Seriously. I'm talking right here. Come scoot down. Do you need support or help with talking to the man that you think is potentially your father? Um, that would probably be the best idea because he's the only other potential, you know, and for me to just actually know for sure would probably be like closure. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. I I'm going to tell you something, and this is my honest opinion. You are better off with this man not being your father. That's the truth. I feel like that's true. We got enough. You know it's for the best. I feel like on your growth and where you're at, and I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm looking at your vulnerability and I'm looking at how you are as a young woman, I can tell that you can recognize unhealthy behavior. That right there lets you know that he is not in a place emotionally or mentally to be there for you. Because if we can't even communicate about it, you know, we both adults now at this point, so you can't, if you can't even come to me and say how you feel, you know, then that just goes to show how much you really don't care if you ask me. You've dealt with abandonment. You have some trust issues, am I sure? Yes. Okay, yeah, I know. I, I can start it's, reading it's through It's kind of bad. Yeah, I, I'm sure. And I don't want that to start deterring you from getting the life that you deserve. Because at the end of the day, I hate that he could not be the man that you deserved. And I hate that your mother was not able to give you the information you deserve so that you could have clarity earlier. Yeah. But you do have me and other people who support you and love you. And we want to be here for you. Thank Will you. you let me be here for you? Yeah. All right. But I got a message. I got a message for men at home that are like Michael. I want you to know that having a bunch of kids that you don't take care of, you got to do better. It is not cute. Multiple kids does not make you a man. Multiple kids does not make you attractive. Multiple kids that you are not caring for makes you delinquent and makes you a coward. Stop being a coward and step up. As you've seen right here, Vanessa has suffered enough, her mother has suffered enough, and these other women's children have suffered enough. Enough men were doing this BS. It's time to step up. You hear me? We love you. We got your back. You see this audience standing? We got your back, all right? Okay. We love you. I'm Young Cat, and I'm the hottest rapper in my city. Being a rapper, first of all, dangerous. Money problems, and the females, you know, they go crazy. They see the rap, they see the video, they see the money, the jewelry. Every time I step in the club, they going crazy. I step in the mall, they going crazy. I got to have my security with me. I got to have some homies with me because they want to take pictures. They want to test me. This woman named Kaiser started DMing me and my family members, my sister, my brother, even my girl, talking about, I'm her baby daddy. After 14 years, what? 14 years? I don't know who that woman is. I ain't no way that that's my baby. At this point, she's just a stalker. I don't know her, that's not my baby. And Karamo, we need to get to the bottom of this now. I don't know who she is, she's crazy, and she came out of nowhere sending me DMs. She wants what we have and I'm not having it. No, I don't think it's his baby. She's just a crazy fan, just like the rest of them. Hey, you know what? How does it make you feel here now? Trash. They said this man has 15 kids. You got the audacity to question mine? He has 15 children. 15? All through the city, baby. So you want to question mine? They want to sit there and bath them out me on a one night stand? Baby girl, I had him before you. I was before your time. So you shouldn't even be here. Who is that? Mm. Who is that? Yeah, so you've been communicating with um, Young Cat via social media. What do y'all talk about? Oh, man, dude is so disrespectful. Now, see, I, I wanted to keep it quiet, you know, because I knew of his status. I, I respect that. You got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But at the same time, it comes to a limit of respect for myself because at the end of the day, it was me and you that laid down, not hurt me, you and her. Yeah, got it. We actually have the messages. You said he's disrespectful. I want to see the messages. Very. All right, so um, at this point, I don't care whose son that is. Not mine, but keep listening to my music, ho. Thank not listening to my music. 
You still trash. You know what I'm saying? So all that lip service, them same lips is gonna be the ones gonna give me apology. Because mm. right after this, since you're the hottest in the city, I'm looking for the hottest attorney in the city. Stop mm. playing with me, boy. Run that coin. I'm not going through this no more. So does your son know that young cat may be his father? Oh, yes, indeed. And what's so funny about this situation, which really threw me for a loop, is because Tyrone, which is who I know him as, I don't know no young cat, mm -hmm. Tyrone, was actually meeting with Marze. So your son was already interacting with already him. Already having conversations with this dude. Wow. How did they connect? Because he was meeting him at the store by my mama's house. Wow. So Tyrone, or young cat, yes. was already going and meeting your son. And then when you finally contact him, he's like, no, you, this is like... He wants to clap at me. Well, listen, everyone, I am ready to meet Tashe and hear more of what she has to say about this mystery. Everyone, welcome Tashe to the show. We just heard that he was interacting with her son at a store. Did you know that information before? He's a rapper. He meets a lot of kids. Trash. He meets you don't a lot make of kids. No sense. When we go to the mall, kids walk up to him, ask for pictures and everything. Mm -hmm. That's that's a all day thing. So when, when she was texting you, did you tell her to stop texting you? She wasn't ever texting me. Mm. The number I had was Tyrone's. It was a 913 number. He quit writing me on, on, on his Facebook and then he started texting me from his direct number. Got it. But I ain't never had no conversation with this girl did right here. Did you tell her to stop texting you? Yes, I did tell her to stop texting me. What is yeah. your number? Who are you? Who are Where you? Where did you come from? And so this is from who? Who is this? Shout the lies! Yeah. What are you doing? Shame on you. This your hair gonna fall out because you a damn liar. Shame on you. Shame on you. My, shame my on hair you. fall out? This is my shame hair. Shame on you. Text me. So you think this is her? Yes. Bull crap. That ain't not. Come she on now. To, she reached out to my everybody. Baby daddy with the emoji. She Please. reached out to everybody in his family. Yeah, his sister. I sure did, but oh, I ain't never reached out one? to you. That's the only one? Yes, so his sister. So then who did he get this text from? Because she's saying it's not her. Look, she stuttered because she lied. Mm. Tell the truth, shut the devil. You're a liar. So why who do you else feel is like reaching out to me pretending to be a baby mama? You're a liar. So why do you feel like she's a crazy fan? And I'm sincere. Why do you feel that way? Because those are the language you keep telling me. No, I'm producer. the right one. Why do you think that? She's jealous. Why do you think she's oh, jealous what? of your relationship? Who are you? <laughs> she wants I'm my man. I ain't ass. never met. She girl, wants my girl, man. Get up out of here. It doesn't make sense. You're a devil. If you're, you're, a liar. If you're married, you're a liar. Just, you're a liar. If you're heavily Tell married, you're the, the devil. You're a liar. It doesn't make sense. You're a liar. So you and Young Cat share a son together. Yes. So you have your family. She and so did everybody else in Kansas City. You ain't the only one. She did say that. So why would you assume for a man that has 15 kids that is so far-fetched for her to say, this could be his child? That's what I don't get. He That's said, what I don't get. He said he's never met her before. He said so, he's never met her before. If that's, if that's what he's saying, that's my man. I'm going to stick beside him. OK. You sound stupid. Period. You sound so Period. stupid. Period. Ah, she done. Can we bring Girl, him out first here? Off. We done with that. We done no, with that. No, so I, don't, I don't want you to argue with her because at the end she, of the day, y'all are not. Y'all are not. Y'all are not. Oh, I'm here. Because I was the first. You contacted I was the first, us. and that's why I'm here again. You contacted us. Well, I think the it's first time. Like, that's nothing. Well, it's time to everyone to meet um, the rapper nothing. Young Cat so we can get to the bottom of this 14 year old DNA mystery once and for all. Everyone, please welcome Young Cat to the show. You finna set all these down. You setting all these down. First of all, you slide over. I ain't sitting by her. Slide run over. It. Oh, slide over. Run it. You run it. Because who the who run are you? It. Where you run come it. from? Run it. How we have run a one-night stand? It. Run it. How you are first and I got a 16-year-old? I don't even know you. You got a 16-year-old. You stalking me. You on my Instagram, my Facebook. My, what, what, man? What, you what, damn what? I'm on everything because I'm here now. What? I'm on what? here now. You hearing this? The look, only hey, way you hey, going to hey, get. Hey, this, this, this is the so hard to find get. you because you want this to hide behind you fake pages. But now you here. This is close to you. Now we here. 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 here. You going to see me on TV. That's all right. We're going to get the hot stuff. You're going to see me on TV. Why are you so upset with me? Because she been stalking me for. She been stalking me. That's all. I'm pushing it. I want all your I mean, money. You need some help. I'll help you. I'm going to get it you all. You look like you need some help. I'm going to get it all. You so ratchet. You ain't even my type. Uh, this is my type. You not my type. Well, Where you come from? I'm here. Pickable. You here for what? No, I didn't say so I got a question for you. You <laughs> Yo, I got a question for you. <laughs> do, you do you remember the interaction that you had in 2007? It's not no interaction. So you don't remember ever having an interaction? She's been stalking me for years just on social media as a fan. So when I didn't respond to her, now all of a sudden I'm your baby daddy. For where? Where we doing it? How we doing it? How we do it? A fan. Where we doing it? 
offense. I got 15 kids. I'm, I'll take care of all my kids. You sound Why would stupid. I not hey, claim hey, one kid? Sit down. Why would I claim not one kid? I'm going to make a couple more, but not so, two. So when did you first hear about this deal? You said you're going to make some more? Yeah, I'm going to make a couple more. Okay. I, I need 20. Listen, that's and all I'm going to take her all that's over. A, that, listen, <laughs> let me, I'm not going we, we're going to talk about that later. That just threw me off. All right, so <laughs> when did you first hear about this DNA mystery? This is this like a couple months ago. But okay. she's been hitting me up for, for years. So the first time I don't even respond to the messages. I don't know what a fake message can, I don't know. I don't even write yeah, like I just that. heard him. He don't know where they came from. I don't, even, I don't, I don't know where they came from. You devil. You devil. You devil. You devil. You just said up. you didn't know where it came from. You liar. Ranting, bro. You, you so a liar. Ranting. Why are you tell so ranting? Tell the truth, shame the devil, cuz. You, you tell the truth, shame the devil. You, you are the devil. Shut up. You said that she reached out to you in the beginning, and you said that she did reach out to you in the past. Nah, man. Did you ignore her? I got three, four people running my Instagrams and all my pages. Okay. So she's going to stay at the top, because every day she wake up, she think about me. So she the first one there. I go ahead and check it out. I don't want to check it out. I don't want to look. It's just this, 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 this. So she now, said you made contact with her son. Is that true? I probably did. I don't know. I, I, I hear a kid. I run into kids all the time. Mm -hmm. But contact said, hey, I'm your daddy. I hope. Who is his daddy? First of all, who is daddy? I never said that you told son, Marze that you, you was his father. In that, in that what situation? you did was you was asking him questions about where he lived at. Way before I even got a phone call from your people talking about that. Why would I ask a little kid where he lived at? Because you wanted to know. You right, wanted so, to know because you knew where, he was where, here. From, where, you knew where, he was where, always in the city. Where, where you was just at? on the outside looking I don't even in. Know you, were what like. you were jealous. <laughs> we're here to see uh, who outside, your baby daddy, daddy is. I'm outside. I took today. my DNA test. So Absolutely. you're you're active with all 15 of your children, yes, as you sir. said. Yes. Of course. So then why do you feel like there's a possibility that this couldn't be yours? Man, what? I, that's not even my type. She's not even my type of female. I, I remember all my one night stands. They both definitely went hurt. Like how, when? How old is when? your oldest Why? child? How old is your oldest 16. child? 16. And then does it go down from there? Okay. Wow. So you're saying you so never had sex with her? So why you the only female in the world coming out to my, you my baby mama? <laughs> Where? So you're saying you've never had sex with her at all? No, I ain't had sex with her. I don't know her. Okay. Okay. Where is this in your mind? You want to have sex with me or something? Like, where, where is it coming from? You know what? I'm where is done. it coming from? Man, I'm man, done. You're I'm so done. believable. I, I didn't call them up in so when many, back there so much. When I'm I don't back there have nothing to say. You are Just so believable. Just me that paperwork. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do nothing. So if I had a one night stand with you, that's just not possible for, for me not to remember. Mm. Mm. All right, so are you ready to get these results? Most then? definitely. Most All right. definitely. So she well, I think it's time right. to reveal the outcome of this DNA mystery from 2007. You said you put that on what? What'd you put that on? Hold on, before you do a number. Mm -hmm. So after these results and whatever, if I'm not the father, are you gonna leave me alone? Or are you gonna stop stalking me? Look, did, can we get the cash app messages or something? Like, you keep sending money on my cash app. Like, meet me here, let's go on a date, let's do this. Go on a date. What's wrong with you, sir, bro? Sir, sir, how what dare you sit you? here on national what? TV and tell these Look, people all them no, lies. That's right there. All how them you lies. My cash all them Man, lies. Come on. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm I sent you that to support I'm your lying. business. To I'm support lying. your business, because that's what Why I do. You I look out for artists. Before, take care I look out for artists. Take care of your I, I, hey, let me tell you something. Next, what I got next another job that? that I do so on you, the side. You sent, what you next sent him money? I sent him $25 because he was crying for it. Man, I meant $2,500. I was crying. You was crying for it. I don't so know you got it. You got it. That's you must, hold on, but now I'm confused. Why would you send him money? I you... sent him money to support his business. He, 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 ha, he has this thing that he does on Instagram. And he's like, everybody condone send cash out to his business. So that's what I did. Just to let him know, because let me tell you, let me tell you, I was being a needle on his ass because I want him to remember oh, me yeah, until bro. I got these results. So, so I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure you remember who I am. Period. Okay. okay. Yes, um, I sent you money. I sure did right, $25, well, listen, and you better not, appreciate well, it. Well, listen, it's, it's, time, it's, time, it's time for the answers now. You ready? Back. Back. Are you ready to get this answer? Back. I'm going to buy you a new wig. If you could please Thank read you. the answers. Yeah, <laughs> tell yep, us you right gonna now. You're going to buy that twin, my part. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> most definitely, I appreciate you for this. I didn't wait on these results. Too many sleepless nights, I didn't have behind this. You know that. what I'm saying? Now I got my clarity, my peace of mind for KC to town. You can miss me on anything else. Are we ready? Okay, let's get to it. Come Are on. we ready? Come on. What does it say? Well, it says your cat is not your son's father. Okay, do it. No, I want a blood test. I'm what not going with this. Let me tell you why. What you when do? I went in to take the DNA test, the lady that did the test is his family member. I'm not going what? for that. I want a blood test. <laughs> I want a blood test. There was a family Bro. member? Yes, the, the, the DNA a... test, the DNA test where they sent me to an independent to I take the test. Crazy. He pulled up in front of me and my son crazy, walking well, into we, the we door. I don't think she's crazy. I don't think she's crazy. Yeah, but when we swipe I in, I want, I want a blood you. test. I'm not going for that. Nope, let's do a blood test. Okay. I'm not going for that. Okay, so listen, I was, I, I got to read this I'm not going for that. You're not so, about to say anything about to embarrass me and I know who the hell my son is. Young Cat, it does say that you are not the father. And so the thing for me is, you've asked for the test, we've given you the test, 
I do find it a little odd because I didn't know this information about you sending money. It, it does make me question now what are the motives. I can't, because I'm, you're saying now you want another test. This test has been proven. I'm, I mean, that's saliva, but, but I'm saying, let's, let's do, do DNA with blood. This is, this is the DNA test that is provided. Okay. And yeah. You owe me apology. You owe me apology. I owe you nothing apology, because you lied. You lied. But that's okay. Now you made me look so bad well, on the internet. Like, like, how do you feel like he's lied? Well, how do you feel like he's lied? But see, that's the thing y'all don't know. See, his family's well connected within the city. So it, it, that's why. That's why I'm not going for that. I'm not agreeing with that. But that, I see what you have. I see okay. what you have. I know. This man has not tampered with anything. There's no one in his family that's tampered with anything. We get these results. We send them out. Just tell him this you wanted to not... meet me in person. That's that it. Have to do you want a hug? I can't hug. I wouldn't even touch you, bro. I wouldn't even touch you. No, thank you. I'm so why is it that you're unable to accept these results? No, outside I, of. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me that after this, you're Let's, still going to be contacting me? I am still going to reach out for another one, most definitely. <laughs> so and she's this time, telling you she's not going to leave me alone. I'm not, because I know for a fact you're my son's daddy, so I'm not going for that. This right here is not the father. No, I know for a fact he is. But he's not. Because that's oh, the only yeah. one that but I But he's not. But that's okay. That's all right. But he's not. All right. That's the thing I need you to hear. He's not. Okay. I understand that you've been telling yourself this narrative and you were hoping this is the truth, but mm -hmm. this is not. He's not your child's father. I understand that there's embarrassment so, that comes with it. There's things that you've built up, but you have to start to process that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not embarrassed by anything I do. That's one thing I want to clear. I am not embarrassed. Yes. But I'm glad that we got this. However, I know what it is. That, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that. No, uh, I'm not. Well, I appreciate you being here. Thank yes, you so much. I'm going to stay and, and talk to that for a second. Karama. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, I appreciate you being here. You can step up. All right, you thank all, I'll you. I'll talk to you thank for a Yes, thank you. I will sit right here. Please. Um, listen, because I don't want to exacerbate the situation anymore, but let me tell you something right now. I'm on TV, and I understand what happens when someone finds an attraction or feels a connection with you, mm -hmm. because th that's wild to me. There, I just watched her create a narrative that literally is not true. I watched her just create a whole thing. I'm really lost, because I'm like, I never met her in person. I don't know her. So that's my first day seeing her. Like, I don't even know her. And also, when I heard you say you don't drink or smoke, that gave yeah. me even more pause never to say you life. were clear in this situation. Yeah, I'm never in life. Seriously. And that's another reason I even came here, too. I'm like, OK, I'll come. I know. Because I know what I did and what I didn't do. I'm not, you go back that long. Like, but for her, it's like she's really in her head, like, that we did this. And that's. I and now what you gonna tell the kid? Like, what the kid going through? How, how is he? And he's old enough to reach out and say, hey, I don't know what's going on, or are you or my mama tripping, or I don't know. I never talked to him. I never interacted with him. So, like, I wish I could talk to him just to see what's going on with Yeah, you stay away from that. That yeah. would be my that would be my suggestion to you. Like, seriously, my suggestion to you is, like, I, I really want, because people, we have to watch, track patterns, and that's mm -hmm. one thing I'm good at is tracking patterns. And I already saw how explosive she was getting with you. And so yeah. I apologize to you as well. Because yeah. I thought, like, literally, like, well, why wouldn't you give them the benefit of the doubt? Well, clearly, you had more information than I did. So, yeah. girl, I'm sorry to you. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Take yes, care sir. of yourselves and take care of each other, yes, right? Thank yeah. You. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more. So we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.